Kunatori 7, Kunatori 7 Haoji, also known as HTV-7 is the seventh flight of the H-2 transfer vehicle HTV, an unmanned cargo spacecraft launched on of September 2018 to resupply the International Space Station. <laughs> spacecraft specification Major changes from previous Kunatori include Inclusion of HTV Small Reentry Capsule HSRC, described below. Reduction of primary batteries to 5 units, down from 6 of Kunatori 6, 7 of Kunatori 2 through Kunatori 5. Replacement of hardware control panel HCP by portable computer system PCS. HCP was a dedicated control command box which allowed ISS crew to send control commands to Kunatori. For Kunatori 7, this is to be replaced by a portable laptop computer to enable HSRC retrieval. The destructive re entry of Kunatori 7 and the splashdown of HSRC is planned to take place in the northwestern Pacific Ocean near Manami Tori Shima, Marcus Island, east of Bonin Islands and northern Mariana Islands, instead of the southern Pacific Ocean used by the previous missions. Topic: Reentry capsule. This Kunatori flight is planned to test the HTV small reentry capsule (HSRC), a reentry capsule similar in function to the VBK Raduga carried on board Progress flights to the Mir space station. Essentially a miniaturized HTVR capsule, it will be carried in the pressurized section of the vehicle. After departing from the station, ground control will remotely command Kunatori to release the capsule at an altitude of 300 km the capsule incorporates nitrogen cold gas reaction control system with 3D printed nozzles, and will autonomously perform attitude control to mitigate shock during descent. Splash landing off the coast of the Agasawara Islands, the capsule will be retrieved by ship. It will then be airlifted to Ibaraki Airport via Manami Tori Shima, from where the samples will be delivered to researchers. The capsule can contain a total of 20 kg of material, 5 kg if the payload requires refrigeration. The capsule has a diameter of 84 cm, a height of 66 cm, and a mass of less than 180 kg. Tiger Corporation developed the capsule's double vacuum insulated container by applying technology used in vacuum flasks. Some samples produced in the microgravity environment of the ISS deteriorate easily, thus a quick return to the surface is desired. For this demonstration flight, samples including ISS manufactured protein crystals are planned to be placed inside. On the 22nd of October 2015, a high altitude drop test of the capsule was successfully conducted off the coast of Taiki, Hokkaido. A second test was conducted in the 21st of September 2016 with conditions and parameters closer to the actual capsule than the previous year's test. The third and fourth drop tests were done in July and November 2017 respectively. Topic: <laughs> Cargo Kunatori 7 carries about 6.2 tons of cargo, consisting of 4.3 t in the pressurized compartment and 1.9 t in the unpressurized compartment. Cargo in the pressurized compartment (PLC) include 
HTV small re-entry capsule HSRC, and a specifically designed hatch of the pressurized compartment to mount the HSRC on departure from ISS. NASA Express Rack 9B and 10B NASA Life Sciences Glovebox LSG ESA Life Support Rack LSR JAXA Experiment Loop Heat Pipe Radiator LHPR CubeSats to be deployed into orbit from ISS, SPATIUMI, RSPOO, STARS mine the unpressurized compartment ULC, Kunatori 7 carries lithium-ion batteries for replacing the ISS's existing nickel-hydrogen batteries. The transportation of replacement batteries is a continuation from the previous Kunatori 6, and will continue through to Kunatori 9. Operation Launch and rendezvous with ISS Initially Kunatori 7 was scheduled to launch at 22:32 coordinated universal time on the 10th of September 2018 but was postponed due to bad weather forecast at a ground tracking station. It was rescheduled to the 13th of September, 21:20 Coordinated Universal Time, but adverse weather forecast at the launch site pushed one day further to the 14th of September, 20 hours 59 minutes and 14 seconds Coordinated Universal Time. During the preflight check, a problem was found in the blow-off valve of the launch vehicle's second stage oxygen tank, and the launch was scrubbed. After the problem was resolved, the launch was rescheduled to the 21st of September. Tilda 1815 coordinated universal time bad weather forecast pushed it one day to tilde 1752 coordinated universal time, the 22nd of September 2018. The HIIB launch vehicle carrying Kunatori 7 launched at 17 hours 52 minutes and 27 seconds coordinated Universal Time on the 22nd of September 2018. It arrived at the proximity of International Space Station on the 27th of September 2018, and the station's Space Station Remote Manipulator System (SSRMS) grappled it at 11:36 Coordinated Universal Time. Topic. Operation while birth to ISS Exposed Pallet EP, which carries the replacement batteries for ISS, was extracted from Kunotari's unpressurized logistics carrier ULC by the SSRMS and transferred to the Mobile Base System MBS payload, Orbital Replacement Unit Accommodations on 28 September 2018, due to the launch failure of Soyuz MS-10, planned extravehicular activity to replace the batteries of ISS could not be performed while the Kunatori 7 was berthed to ISS. The exposed pallet will remain at the ISS after departure of Kunatori 7. <laughs> departure from ISS and re-entry to the Earth atmosphere Kunatori 7 was demated from Common Berthing Mechanism CBM of Harmony Module by SSRMS at 23:32 Coordinated Universal Time on the 6th of November 2018, and it was released into orbit on the 7th of November 2018, 16:50 Coordinated Universal Time.
After a series of trajectory control maneuvers, the final deorbit burn completed at 21:14 coordinated universal time, the 10th of November 2018. Separation of HTV's small re-entry capsule (HSRC) from Kunatori 7 was confirmed at 21:24 coordinated universal time. Estimated time of the re-entry to Earth atmosphere at 120 km altitude of Kunatori 7 was 21:38 coordinated universal time and the splashdown of residual debris at 21:48 to 22:12 coordinated universal time splashdown of HSRC was confirmed at 22:06 coordinated universal time and it was retrieved by the recovery ship at 2:25, the 11th of November, the ship arrived at Manami Torishima on the 13th of November. The retrieved specimen was transported by aircraft to Ibaraki Airport and finally arrived at Tsukuba Space Center on the 13th of November, 0:42 Coordinated Universal Time. <laughs>